Welcome to a triple phase training quick guide. Today, we will review how to measure a motor. What does a megometer do? It is a meter capable of measuring mega ohms and beyond. What exactly is a mega ohm? Looking at the table, you'll notice one mega ohm is equivalent to one million ohms. Likewise, one giga ohm is one billion, one tera ohm is one trillion, and the scale continues. So what are we measuring the resistance of? We are actually performing an insulation test. We are testing the motor's insulation, more specifically, between the motor windings and the motor casing. If a fraction of current flows, it can be measured by the meter. Take a look at the motor insulation classes on this table. Notice that the motor service factor has a direct correlation to temperature. Motor insulation is rated and built to withstand varying temperatures. Time and heat break this down. Using a megometer properly will test the motor insulation. Depending on what class of insulation you are testing will have an effect on the amount of ohms the meter should read. To test high class insulation, you should use a megometer capable of testing into tera ohms. Otherwise, your test may not be reliable or accurate. Let's look at an example. The megometer we are using is an AEMC Model 1060. Be sure to read all the instructions and precautions before using your meter. Connect the appropriate leads to the meter. Then, following the instructions provided by the manufacturer, make the correct connection to the motor casing and motor lead. In this test, the positive lead is connected to the casing and the negative lead is connected to the motor lead. You must select the voltage range on the meter that matches the motor you are testing. This is a 480 volt motor, so the dial is set to a 500 volt test. The brand new H-Class motor quickly displays a reading greater than two tera ohms. That is the highest resistance the 1060 can measure. With a reading of greater than two trillion ohms, you can be confident that the motor is good. Now we will perform the test on the motor taken out of service. Follow the same testing procedures and attach the leads to the correct locations. The positive lead is connected to the casing and the negative lead is connected to the motor lead. The result is displayed as 128 giga ohms and continues to drop to 25 giga ohms. 25 billion ohms is a lot of resistance. However, it is not enough. This motor has insulation damage and should be replaced. As the motor gets hotter, the resistance drops lower and lower. This motor has been taken out of service because, while in use, it causes the drive to fault. How will I know when a motor should be taken out of service? When a megometer is used properly, you will be able to easily identify insulation damage. Heat wears down motor insulation. If you are not sure about a motor you have just tested, Try testing the motor again while it is still warm from use. If you get lower resistance readings each time, your motor should be taken out of service as soon as possible. Most variable frequency drives and inverters are very sensitive to insulation loss. The drive may preemptively shut down the motor to save the drive from damage. Make sure the motor rating matches the environment. Check the rating for heat as well as service factor. Warning. Always follow manufacturer specified testing procedures. Never work on electrical components without proper authorization and training. Always use correct lockout, tagout procedures. Isolate motor leads while testing. Always wear proper PPE and never expose live wires. Always follow safe work procedures.